what it means to be an abomination to the Lord by a covet of churches according to uh, the law that which is the curse The abomination is the chosen king made to speak for the Lord and the handmade judgment who judges us for our words and our works by them. The children in an aspect of the rise of the handmade through the chosen king and the fall of Hades upon all those in its divination that chooses her ways. A children of iniquity, a lesser light of death and a light that which is all those that chose their ways. The fall of man, basically the abomination to the Lord. A graven image to be made of a chosen king used to give to a Persian prince or a power of darkness in a church of some sort used to lead, guide, or render everyone to its sacrifice according to biblical histories already written. The one with knowledge, according to the biblical eras already written, was Perseus, the one who cut the head of Medusa and obtained wisdom and knowledge close to God. And then that ark was passed down to the Persian prince, a graven image that finally destroyed Perseus and so on and so forth until it finally went to Jesus Christ and made it to Hercules to wear the blood of Jesus Christ in the streets of the children of Hades which is our Ryan rising through the chosen king and falling for the use of its grave like as God picked death up, looked it in the eyes. It was attached to a soul that was chosen by God. And then cast it back down to all the people um, in a bull or livestock divination. That is, according to scriptures in Genesis, clothed in animal hides for world conflict that which we have created and everybody in his divination is suffered by its choice of her ways God has given us freedom through Jesus Christ as Levi and Judah who is the covenants made used for law we have an option to accept uh, the divination in a manner but the plot is to defile us or cause corrupt in the heavens through us so law is a curse and the chosen king is how they do it they're going to punish us for our testimony. They're going to punish us for our testimony after giving it. Or they're going to treat us like God Almighty treats us. It doesn't. You know what I mean? The abomination is the covet, the graven image that's going to be made and passed down to somebody. A holy grail where a woman has a child by a man like it was in Jesus Christ and I think it's Mary Magdalene and 
the head of David was pulled off of Mary Magdalene and birth to a Persian prince. Or nobody really knows exactly because it's not written clearly. It's just a, a bunch of words to obtain logic to. Anyhow, the abomination, the divinations, all those that choose their ways, granted wisdom from biblical histories is not a theft, it's actually a gain, and glory can only be found in heaven when the law is with no law, according to the laws that the Lord has written for freedom.